What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. We're standing on board a Greenline 48 Coupe Hybrid. You heard me correct, this is a hybrid yacht, and I'll talk more about that system and what that means in the future. Basically, this yacht is available in a traditional setup with the two diesel engines. You can also opt for a fully electric version, or you can get the hybrid version, which is a system called H-Drive, and that kind of gives you the best of both worlds between energy efficiency and performance with the diesel engines. I'll show you more of that system later on in the tour. This yacht is presented by Yacht Sales International, so thank you to them for granting me access on board. As you can see, we're up here on the bow. Officially, this yacht is 49 feet and 2 inches in length. It has a beam of 15 feet and 2 inches, and it has a draft of 3 feet and 1 inch. Now on this one, we have a gyro stabilizer, we have a yacht controller, we have a lot of cool different features, and I'll point them out as we go along with the tour. So let's go ahead and get started. As mentioned, we're up here on the bow, so you can see this really large sun pad right up here. And then right here, you'll see there's a square in the cushion. That's for the hatch down in the owner's stateroom so they can get ventilation or escape if needed. One thing I really like, and I'll point this out as we go into that cabin, but they have these windows that line the owner's stateroom. And you also have cutouts right here. So you get tons of natural light in that area. So I really like that design. Like I said, I'll show you that from the inside but we also have a built-in bimini top, so you can bring this over for some shade on the sun pads. Then also up here, you'll see the winch for the anchor. And you'll see the remote for the anchor as well as the anchor chain. And then in this hatch, you'll see you have some fender storage. You also have, it looks like a wash down This yacht is really well laid out with all the storage options. And we'll give you one last look all the way from the front. So as part of the hybrid system or H-Drive, you have a couple electric motors paired with the diesel engines. But in addition, you also have solar panels up on the roof. And you have enough solar power up here. Hopefully you can see those. But these generate enough power to act as a small generator so you can power all of the home appliances and AC on the yacht just with that electric power. So you don't have to run a generator. So you have tons of great benefits with that. You have no, none of the noise, none of the fumes, anything like that. On this yacht, you do have a side access door right next to the helm. And you also feel really safe and secure walking on these decks. And there is a side access door right here in case you're gonna come on board from the side. But if we continue back, we'll end up in the cockpit. You have this beautiful table. And you have the built-in cup holders. And then you can flip that piece around if you just want it flat. And then we have the L-shaped seating that wraps around this area. And you have the hardtop overhead as well. And as you can see, you also have this huge window that can flip up. And this is a really modern design with the galley aft layout. You can really connect these two spaces. And then underneath this large hatch, we'll open this up towards the end of the tour, but you have your two engines in here. And then stepping all the way back, you do have a hydraulic swim platform. And then also, this is an option, but you can have the grill and the sink built in on the transom right here. Additionally, looks like we have a shower built in right here. And then this is also an option. So you have a few different choices here, but you can opt for a small captain's cabin or it's just a storage area. So let me show you what this looks like. If we slide a couple of these cushions over, yep, you can see it. We have the hatch right here. And this owner has done a lot of customizations to the yacht. One of them being this area is actually air conditioned. So as you can see, currently it's just set up for storage, which let's be real, you're probably not gonna have a captain. So you can definitely just use this for storage. It's a huge space. But if you wanted to, you could use this area as a small captain's cabin where you have a bed and then some storage for them as well. But I think 
just the massive storage area makes a lot of sense on this model. We're actually a little bit out of place. Here we go. Just doing some reorganizing. All right, now I think we're ready to step into this main salon. As mentioned, you have this window that flips up and locks into place, and then the door that slides across, which grants you access into this main salon. This was another custom option, the floor. On this one you can see the accent lighting in the floor there and as you can see this is set up as a galley aft layout so we have the induction cooktop the microwave oven down here and then they did manage to fit a dishwasher as well so you can see that right here under the sink you have the double sink right here And then opposite of all of this, of course you have storage overhead, but opposite of this side, we have the fridge and freezer, or fridge and freezer, I should say. A little coffee bar and a nice maker down here. And also in this area, you have your breaker panel. So as you can see, it's a pretty well-equipped galley for a yacht of its size. But then also, as you'll see in the main salon, we have the TV that pops up right here. They added a wine fridge underneath. Plenty of storage space in here. And then of course you have your main seating and dining area opposite of the TV. I don't think I mentioned it before, but this yacht is in a three cabin configuration. So you can sleep up to six comfortably, but this table can also be lowered and then you could theoretically throw some cushions on top of here and sleep one or two more. So it's nice to have that flexibility, especially on a yacht of this size. And one thing I really like is they have really large windows on the sides. So you have tons of natural light that pours in. Of course the lights are on, but we don't really need them because you do get so much natural light. And then before we move forward, there's just so much to see on this yacht. You have this hatch under here. So I'm going to open this up for you. I think you're going to really enjoy this. We have tons of storage down in this hatch. But in addition to the storage, we also have a washer dryer. So you can see that on this side. You also have space for another refrigerator if you wanted it or a freezer, or you could just use it as storage. But as you can see, this is a huge space down here, so you have lots of different options for storage. And I really like the flexibility that you get with the different storage areas versus crew areas. There are some yachts in this size category where you really don't get the storage you deserve. Obviously, you're not going to be struggling for that on this one. So we've seen sort of this galley main salon area, dining area. Let's step up to the helm station. And this yacht is extremely well equipped. As mentioned before, you do have a gyro stabilizer. You have your Raymarine multifunction displays. Here you can see the throttle control. You have your VHF radio. And then I did mention this yacht has a yacht controller. So you can see the switch to turn that on is right here. This is what the yacht controller actually looks like. So anywhere you're standing on this boat, you can control the yacht with this controller. So this is really handy if you're by yourself or shorthanded. Whether you're up on the bow or back in the cockpit, you can easily navigate with this remote. And that works in conjunction with the bow and stern thruster and the throttle control with the main engines to sort of get the maneuverability that you need. Also, I haven't talked that much about the H-Drive system yet in the electric mode, but I can give you a preview that this works with just the electric mode. So you can be eerily quiet while navigating up from the bow with the yacht controller running fully on electric power. 
So that's pretty cool. And then overhead, you have these shades across. There's a huge window underneath these shades, but beyond just the shades opening up, you can also open up this entire space. And you do that with the push of this button right here. So you can see this opening up overhead. And we're just gonna open that up a little bit. I think you get the idea. But with the side access door, with the large windows, and the huge flip up window in the back, you can really open up this main salon. So depending on the weather, if you want it completely closed off or all the way open, you have a lot of flexibility there. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really enjoying this Green Line 48 Coupe so far. And as mentioned, we have three different cabins down here, so let's go check them out. We'll start with the owner's stateroom all the way forward. You have the large bed in the middle. Of course, you're gonna have the storage underneath. And here are those windows I was talking about that give you a really good view because of those cutouts. So beyond just the natural light, you get the visibility. So I just really like that feature on these green lines. You can see there's a closet over here. Another closet on the other side, as well as a TV up on the wall. And then here's that hatch underneath the sun pad, as mentioned before. And then the ensuite for this one is split into two. So you have over here, you can see the shower. This is a really good size shower for a yacht of its size. You have the bench. You also have a good size window too. Same thing, they have the cutouts. So no matter where you are, you have that good view. And there's a little sunlight above. And then on the opposite side of the room, here's the ensuite with, of course, the toilet and the sink. And that also has that really big window and the skylight. And then we're gonna have two more cabins. As you can see, we have the two single beds over here. And you do lose a little bit of that headroom because of the main salon in the helm station above us but in the entrance you do have full standing headroom so it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all and you still have the skylight and the window over here and we can just duck down and scoot back you have the tv on the wall and then this ensuite actually shares duties as the day head so we have one door right here and then coming around here we have the day head door and then you can see the shower coming out of the wall right there. And then one last cabin on this side. I don't think I mentioned it before. We have the drawers in the closet. It's the same as the other cabin. You have a very similar setup in here. And then of course, this one doesn't share with the day head. So you just have the closed off ensuite right over here. But once again, same theme, really good windows on this one. So those are three different cabins, all of them really good size. Now we're gonna go check out the engines, which I promised we'll see. These are underneath the hatch right here. We just have to slide that over. All right guys, so as you can see, that door is absolutely massive, which opens up into the engine room. So you have tons of access to these two Volvo engines. So these engines are Volvo Penta D3 engines, 220 horsepower each. And they're also, if you can see back here, they're paired with electric motors as part of the H-Drive system. And at seven knots, you'll get about 900 nautical miles of range. You also have a trip extender. So this helps regenerate the batteries as you're operating under the diesel engines in conjunction with the H-Drive system.
So I'm gonna tell you about the HF system, but I think we're gonna actually head back inside first. Obviously that's a really big door, but it's pretty easy to raise and lower with one arm still. And I also don't think I mentioned it earlier, but we do have some storage underneath the sections right here. And then you do have another side entrance door over here. You have the side gate and full side desk to get up to the bow. So we talked about the performance just under the diesel power. Now with the H drive system, we'll see the button right up here at the helm station. We can switch this to fully electric power. Now, after you switch it to electric power, you'll get up to six and a half knots and up to 25 nautical miles of range on fully electric power. It's absolutely silent. It's almost like driving an electric car. If you've ever been in one, you know that eerily quiet feeling. So you can be sitting up on the bow with the yacht controller, cruising silently as you come up to your slip. Obviously that's extremely energy efficient as well because you're not burning any gas. And then while you're underway, as mentioned before, the solar panels on the roof with the electric motors will keep those batteries charged. So all of your appliances can be operated just under electric power. I think there's a lot of huge benefits with the hybrid system. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to YSI or Yacht Sales International for gaining this access on board. We will catch you next time.